okay uh, we are now at the access control floor still at the missing function level access control all right we already completed the second tab which is to rely on obscurity so we already identify the two hidden items we're going to use one of them later on for our third section okay which is to gather user info and over here uh, we are supposed to look out for our own hash all right, and place this inside here so actually you can see over here all right, you want to use the hash and place your own account user accounts hash inside here and click submit all right. now previously we already identified there is a hidden particular function call users so what i will do is i will copy this into a new tab okay i will do a login again all right and i will try to look for the slash user there is a s right which we found previously and this is what i obtain all right which one user in web group actually there can be more than one user but because i only register one so i only end up with only one single user in web group but for this section uh, of the lab i actually need to use my zap that's why my zap is actually running at the back and you can see that it is actually intercepting everything now i need to do this part a bit quick but i will try to explain the process is i need to load this and at the same time i need to actually uh, find the package that creates the get get uh, for the site okay so let me just very quickly load this all right so you can see a lot of things is occurring at the back okay let me have a quick search over here I'm looking for the user right, the one that actually creates this particular page ah, here it is how I know it is this particular uh, request is because I can see the users over here so this is actually activating the slash users uh hidden function that we obtained previously so now all right i need to edit this oh though this one is the path no Ah, okay I will use the request editor okay so now I can see the user over here uh, I actually changed my view all right to so that I can actually see the response down here uh, by default it's actually on another tab but I don't usually like that uh, approach or, or that particular uh, interface all right so what I need to do now is I need to make a few changes first change look for the asset all right currently the asset is using text html uh, i will need to change this okay pk 
location all right to json all right okay let me run the send okay i am actually getting an error right now because i'm seeing a lot of uh, i don't see any particular hash inside here so i'm just going to copy this because i'm a bit lazy to type out and put this one here all right i'm gonna still leave it as utf8 but i'm going to change this portion all right so that my content type is also application json but of course i'm still using the utf8 character set and i do a send and now i can see this is what i want see this is me my username and this over here is oops up to here though is actually my hash all right uh, of course every user will have a different hash anyway now let me go back to the previous step all right this is the original one and i'll place my hash inside here oh it's quite long and click submit and done see now i get a congrat message and this thing turned green to indicate that basically uh it's completed so this is the conclusion for the entire missing function level access control